Gotta get sponsored by that Coke, no sugar. Yeah, get me. What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, Vidugo Vibes here, and welcome to another video. Always, always, no sugar. Because real Coke tastes so fucking disgusting. I'm having like a fucking massive feed right now. Not really, it's just a fucking protein bar. But welcome to another video. What is today's video? That's right. Today's video actually is uh, some outfits I've been wearing recently. Tongue twister. Before we get into today's video, I have a quick announcement. Basically, I'm gonna have a link in the description down below that will take you to an unlisted video. Basically, a hidden video that you can only access by clicking that link. And it's gonna take you to a for sale video. And I'm gonna have all these garments for sale and they're gonna be dirt cheap, like this acne, the uh, acne tea. This Uniqlo is five bucks. I've got Uniqlo U denim. I've got some other pair of trousers, other stuff. I've got the Zara thing, which you guys will actually see now. And also my beautiful, beautiful Our Legacy uh, linen shirt. I will have up for sale. So all you have to do is click that link in the description down below. It will take you there. And yeah, let's get on to the video. But yeah, I've got my notebook here, which has all the outfits that I've been wearing recently and I don't want to include like Ben Knuckles boys fucking lit fam because I'm doing a video on my re recent pickups after this so stay tuned for that because I don't want to throw in like all these new garments like that and you guys will be like what the fuck what is that I want to go into all of, all of that in detail so yeah with all that being said we're gonna hop straight into this but first let me just quickly eat this Let's fucking get into this shit, shall we? So, outfit number one features a long sleeve turtleneck as my base layer. Oh, and if you guys don't know, I go through top layers and then bottoms and then all together. Yeah. My first layer for the top half of the outfit, I'm wearing my Uniqlo turtleneck. It's a long sleeve turtleneck. It's like 100% cotton. It's like three, four years old now. I've, it's, there's distressing everywhere. There's holes in it, but it still has a purpose in my wardrobe. It's just my layering piece. No one ever sees it apart from the turtleneck. So I'm rocking that as my base layer, and then for the tee, I'm rocking my Zara, like, oversized, drapey, like, viscose type tee. Because of the viscose material, it has its purpose of being super oversized, drapey, and kind of going for that avant-garde type look. But, um, rocking that over the top, or my, sorry, my outerwear piece, is actually my Uniqlo Seamless Down Puffer Coat. Yes, that's what it is, Seamless Down Puffer Coat. I reckon it works really, really well. Because of the super layering, I've got the turtleneck, I've got the tee, and I've got the puffer coat over the top. A, it keeps me super warm. B, it kind of gives off that Rick aesthetic, which is the aesthetic I wanted to go for in this fit. And yeah, the seamless down coat, I think it's on sale for like 150 now. It's a little bit different, um, this current season seamless down compared to the season which I bought it. But regardless, it's super comfortable. It's super cozy. It's super warm. I need to replace super. And pairing this top half, obviously to complete the Rick aesthetic, I've got my Rick on cropped mainline drawstring trousers, my diaper pants. Pairing that with my Ranger boots, I think it just completes the look entirely. All black on black, layers upon layers, having that nice cropped aesthetic from Rick, the slight um, exposure of the drawstrings, and then the combat boot just to complete the whole look. Obviously, when you go for a cropped trouser and boot combo like this, you do not want to show skin, because skin showing in this fit looks disgusting, so always wear knee-high socks or really long socks. Not to mention, I will have everything, like everything that I can find, um, links in the description down below. So if you do want to cop any of these, link down below. But that's the first outfit. Getting onto the second outfit, kind of a little bit basic, and it kind of um, could be with a little bit of spicing up in this outfit, I'm not going to lie. But the top, which is another turtleneck, and it's something that I wore on my Instagram. This outfit I pretty much wore on Instagram, pretty much. It is a JW Anderson collaboration with Uniqlo. It's the women's line cropped turtleneck sweater. It did have tassels on the arms, but eventually I cut them off and it just works super well because the turtleneck, it's very like, it's very tight, but at the same time it has like that semi stacks and that's what I love most. Pairing that up with a nice, beautiful, wide, um, wide silhouette, sorry, of the turtleneck and being slightly cropped works well, especially pairing that up with the bottoms, which are my needles uh, trousers. They are the wide needles trousers, the black and like purple slash pink material colorway 
Whoops. And because of the fact that I wear my needles trousers pretty high, I wear everything high waisted pretty much. It just accentuates my legs when it comes to something cropped and it works super well and it makes me look a lot taller. Pairing that up with my Sui Coke GGA V's, just to really just, just fucking put the pin on the Japanese aesthetic that I really, to, I really wanted to go for in this fit. Sui Cokes, needles, cropped turtleneck sweater. The only thing missing in this fit is fucking necklaces. That's what it is. I need a necklaces, man, because this fit looks pretty bare. It looks pretty boring. Having that pop of silver, like, within the neck and having that, like, turtleneck actually have a purpose from just being black and boring definitely would have made this a lot better. So, yeah. Vibes, you're not perfect, fam, and I fucking know that. But getting on to outfit number three, I'm going back to the Sui Coast, but we'll get into that in a quick second. The top that I'm rocking actually is my um, Acne Studios, just white tee. Beautiful because I hand washed this. I, I didn't... I think dry cleaner. I hand washed it and then I ironed it and it's so just crispy on the body. I, I, because I've worn it for so long and didn't really wash it properly and it started getting stains and stuff and it was annoying me. Hand washing it kind of just kind of brings a life to the t shirt. It's really fucking weird. But getting that, the Acne Studios tee on top of, sorry, underneath the Billabong vintage jacket. It's like a jacket, a cop from my dad and it's a beautiful like aviator bomber type style. Type of style. Jacket, I think works really fucking well because especially pairing up that aesthetic with the bomber jacket with my Creech Cargos, which are the bottoms, my Rico and Dark Shadow Creech Cargos, I think works perfectly. And if anyone has a size small, please just hit me up on my DMs, bro, at Vidugo Vibes because these are a size large and they're what? too big for me. So please, if anyone has a small, please hit me up. I don't really mind what material it is. But yeah, Creech Cargos, and then with my Sui Cokes, black on black socks, black trousers, black socks, black Sui Cokes. I think that's a great way to pair Sui Cokes if you are like not really comfortable with wearing them. Definitely go for like a really military Creech, not a military cargo-esque type trouser and then pairing up with Sui Cokes, I think works super well. Also, I tucked in the acne tee just because I don't wear it longer with Creech Cargos because of the fact that Due to the um, the belt style uh, cargo pocket at the top of the Creech Cargo, wearing something over that, it just ruins it and it just makes your, just, it looks fucking weird. So tuck it in slightly, not too like over the top, I think works well. So that is outfit number three. And lastly, going on to outfit number four is a very vibrant fit to compare to all the other ones. That's for fucking sure. The top I'm actually wearing is the Zara Brioche Oversized Knit Sweater in Orange. I think it works pretty well in this fit, and you guys will see it obviously in a second, but I think the only thing missing, once again, is necklaces, and secondly, it's a little bit too big for me. Because of the fact that it's too long, too big, I'm trying to bunch up the bottom to make it look cropped to accentuate my legs. It kind of makes my waist look a lot bigger than what it actually fucking is, so that's a little bit disappointing. But um, yeah, it's in that for sale video if you guys are curious. But getting onto the bottoms, pairing up with my Dickies Cargos, it, the Dickies Cargos, I think, just work so fucking well because I love that white silhouette that the Cargos give off. I actually altered them and hemmed them myself the very first time I've ever did it. It's a semi-butcher job, but I think at the same time, the length, I think, works pretty well pairing up with the shoes, which you guys actually have never, ever seen before, are my Zoom Flies, the Nike SB Zoom Flies in a translucent, translucent white with a hint of green. The green is very subtle, it's not vibrant, it's not in your face. You have to like go up close to it to see it. Having that low top silhouette, the really wide, uh, almost semi cropness of the Dickies Cargos, which I picked up in Walmart, if you guys are curious too, with the pop of color being the orange Zara sweater. So I think that outfit's pretty cool. My, obviously my personal favorite would have to be outfit number one, 100%. It's that just dark aesthetic, which I'm really used to and which I love most, but yeah. That concludes all the outfits, my four hours outfits that I've worn recently. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me and don't forget to click the link in the description down below, which will take you to my for sale video, which I have plenty and plenty of stuff that is going for really dirt cheap. If you wanna go ahead and join the gang, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna go ahead and check out my recently uploaded video, just click that box right over there and I will see you guys in the next video on Verdugo Vibes. I'm out guys, peace.